Now, the Deputy Secretary of the United States Department of the Treasury, Wali Adeyemo, has made a courtesy visit to Nigeria. During the visit, he had an interactive session with Nigerians, highlighting the economic and cultural ties between the country and the United States. Plus, the Venice correspondent, Emmanuel Olubobokun, was there and now reports. It was a large gathering of dignitaries and individuals at the Lagos Business School. Deputy Secretary at Diyemo is the highest ranking Nigerian American official and highest ranking member of African diaspora in the Biden administration. His visit to the country is simple to highlight the economic and cultural ties between the two countries. The theme of the event, which is tagged Nigeria Economic Relations, People, Entrepreneurship and Investment, creates an avenue to promote economic ties with Nigeria and the United States. In our remarks, the Vice Chancellor, Pan Atlantic University, Professor Enade Okuneda, speaks on the importance of international relations as a single country cannot stand on its own without help from others, especially in the areas of economic growth and development. The United States is a major investor and trading partner with Nigeria, and we hope to see an enhanced trade and investment relationship between our countries with your visit to Nigeria. We con with economic um, relations and trade between both countries occurring at significantly high volumes, conversations between the Lagos Business School community and such an important trade and investment partner to Nigeria is most opportune. Wali Adeyemo highlights the need for Nigeria and the United States to come together to promote international trade and boost Nigeria's security. He also discusses the opportunities available through programs like the African Growth and Opportunity Act, which has provided eligible sub-Saharan African countries, including Nigeria, with duty-free access to the U.S. market for thousands of products. I'm here because unlocking Nigeria's economic success can transform not just a country, but an entire continent. But in order for us to make progress, it is important for us to focus on reform. And there are, of course, many reasons why the United States remains committed to this partnerships and the reforms that Nigeria needs to make. From our people to people relations, to our shared values, to our common economic and security interest. I want to spend the remainder of my remarks highlighting some of the steps needed for the type of growth that creates economic opportunity for the Nigerian people. First, Nigeria needs a stable Naira. You stop into any small business or market and you will hear shop owners and customers bemoaning the lack of a stable currency. Unifying Nigeria's foreign exchange rate will also create the kind of macroeconomic stability that is essential to attracting foreign investment. The meeting breaks into our question and answer session. Salient questions are raised on the contribution of the United States towards fostering support to the Nigerian government. As expected, the Deputy Secretary did justice to them. Foreign direct investment, including dollar-based foreign direct investment into the country. I think the early steps that the government has taken are important in terms of what they've done in terms of fiscal policy and what they've done in terms of trying to unify the exchange rate. But more needs to be done, and they recognize that. And I think the truth is that as companies around the world and the private sector becomes more comfortable with their approach, you would expect that Nigeria would be a destination for foreign direct investment because of companies like your own, but also because Nigeria has such a huge talent pool when it comes to labor and opportunity. Um, as you know, um, or you may not know, President Biden had a chance to see the new, your new president on the sidelines of the G20 and talk about the security situations in the region and how we can deepen our relationships. We look forward to continuing those conversations because we know that in many ways, security and economics are very tied together. Emmanuel Ulubobukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.